It's time for Big Tigger's trending topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. Find out what's trending now with Big Tigger. Oh, he did not tell me for that. On V103. All right, people. Time for 411 on your favorite folks. Things happening around and about town and otherwise. So, today, thousands of people scheduled to uh, pull up at Florida Panther Stadium where the hockey team plays in Sunrise, Florida for the memorial for ex Tension. The invite says, Fan Memorial in Loving Memory. Come say your final goodbye. It's from now on. It started at noon. It's going to 6 p.m. On it, it says, no cellular devices or cameras will be allowed. Please leave them at home or in your vehicle. Any person found without with any device or of any sort will be immediately turned around the gate or escorted out. Will not be allowed back on the premises. Yeah, because people do too much for the gram. And no one wants to see it. It's an open casket memorial, from what I understand, uh, at the BB&T Center in Sunrise, Florida. Some other tidbits surrounding that situation so there's another person of interest apparently 22 year old Robert Allen the Broward County Sheriff's Department in search of him who may be connected to the 20 year old's death cops say he was on surveillance video at the motorcycle shop in Pompano Beach where he was shopping before he was gunned down now TMZ listed this boy got a rap sheet Dates back to... He's only 22, the guy they're looking for, but his rap sheet dates back about three, four years. Three felony charges after being pulled over for riding without a seatbelt. That's how he got caught. Charged with trafficking cocaine, carrying a concealed firearm, and grand theft of a firearm. Later that year, two warrants for his arrest issued for allegedly carrying PVP, a synthetic party drug, carrying a concealed firearm. He was charged with the two felonies. Allen was also hit with 22 felonies in 2016. I didn't make this up. 22 felonies, all of which pertained to IDs or credit card info he was accused of stealing. Just placed on probation for 45 months this past December. One murder uh, suspect is already in custody, Diedrich D. Williams, being held without bail, also with a number of gun, drug, and DV charges. Lil Uzi Vert, consequently, is looking to start a foundation, quote, to make sure... Triple X Tentacion's family and child are well taken care of. The full tweets went, uh, read, been speaking to his family. I want to start a fun foundation to make sure his child and family are well taken care of. Not temporary, but for life. I don't care if you didn't know him. He's part of the hip-hop rock community. I need help from celebrities, please. He elaborated in a second post that said, Trust me, this fun foundation will be for all the young entertainers and young men and women who die from gun violence, etc., Think about your family's future. I know I am. We can buy chains, watches, and cards. We can also donate and give support. Details coming soon. Hmm, Lots of people showed support for that. We'll see what happens. Speaking of chains and things of that nature, the game didn't take too kindly to people trying to break into his house while he was out enjoying the BET Awards festivity. A recent Instagram post, he says, so this past Saturday night, three... Dudes thought they could catch me slipping while I was out enjoying the festivities and attempt to burglarize my home. These dudes was on the ground checking the windows and doors for sensors. Once they saw the house was secure and my two Rockwallers were in the crib, they aborted mission. He said, BET weekend is over and I'll be home waiting, so please come back tonight and I can put all three of you dudes in caskets. I even been thinking, I'm the dude that's going to let you violate my home and leave you breathing. A place where my children lay their heads and night will never be disrespected. On my watch. If and when you come back, he just went on and on and on and on. He said, Draco will be waiting. I wouldn't go back there. Don't go back. Don't go back. More uh, information on these stories and what happened was always popping at v 103com More Big Ticket Show happening right now. 